Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be doing another 411 love reading, basically anything and everything that you want to know regarding love. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. Um, and let's just jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, friends. Sagittarius regarding love. Okay. What Sagittarius need to know regarding love for Sagittarius? Okay, let's see what we got for you. You can also check out your other placements, um, Sagittarius. In the description box, I have all the playlists linked for each sign. Um, so what's going currently in your connection or in love? What can you expect? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Great start. And the Knight of Swords. So something, I feel like an unexpected message or a message that's just really great. Maybe sets things in motion um events in motion because the wheel of fortune typically brings about change okay so past energies or influences on this current um situation or what's currently happening for you page of cups reverse four of cups so i feel like maybe this is like a turnaround like maybe love or any something happening in love was not going so great and there's this wheel of fortune that shows up how do you feel about this person the hangman and three of cups reverse so i'm kind of getting here like um like waiting around for someone but or someone being stuck and that's kind of like a um It's almost like it's stopping things from happening or slowing things down. Because the hangman kind of makes me think of something being stuck, not hap not um, really taking place, no events taking place or no action. I'm sorry if I can't get it together in terms of words because Mercury retrograde has been terrible for me this time around. Okay, um, them, how do they feel about you? The Queen of Cups. Five of Swords reverse. Okay, lots of um, emotions here with the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is someone that's emotionally invested in you. And I think it's because maybe in the past there was conflict between you because the Five of Swords is reverse. So it's almost like this person no longer wants to um, play games or no longer wants to do whatever it is that they've been doing that hasn't worked out. The Five of Swords is typically a card about someone that's not playing fair. It's about someone that wants to win at all costs. Could be deceptive. Okay. Um, what do you need to know? Five of Wands reverse. Something definitely happened between you and this person. Queen of Coin reverse. Okay. Yeah, there's something here that definitely happened between you and this person. And I feel like um, whatever it was... It's almost like someone's trying to like turn this around or move past this. Where is all of this headed in the near future? The Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy, Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone's coming out of hiding or I don't know. This Three of Cups Reverse could be a reunion like not that's not happening or is delayed. We'll see. I'm going to have to clarify and see, but I'm almost getting here like the past comes out of hiding or someone that you've had a past connection with like resurfaces, but we'll see if I'm right about that. Now the overall energy of or why everything is happening, the bottom of the deck, judgment. Wow, very powerful energy here with judgment. Judgment could be about revival, resurrection. Um, someone having a personal awakening, learning from their past mistakes. So I find it fascinating that this is the overall energy because judgment has um, a significant impact on our lives. It, right after judgment is the world. 
So it's almost like judgment leads us to the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, which is huge in my opinion. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's get some clarifiers out here. Queen of Cups showed up again. But I feel like what's really going to be taking place here is, or what you, what, what's kind of going to, what's kind of going to set things in motion is whatever is happening here with the Wheel of Fortune. Spirit, can we get some clarity, please, on these energies for Sagittarius? <clears throat> can you tell us more, please, about these energies for Sagittarius? Let's start with judgment. This is why everything is happening, the root, the foundation of everything. Why is judgment here? What can you tell us about judgment? Wow, the chariot. Yeah, someone's going to be making some sort of move after this judgment. Um, whatever awakening this is, whatever situation they're looking at with new eyes. I feel like it's going to set events in motion. This is action will be taken here. A new direction. Someone headed towards a new direction with a chariot. Cancer energy. Can I get one more with judgment? I feel like this um, reading is going to be a struggle because I literally, <laughs> I can't like put my thoughts in a straight line. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Can you tell me about judgment? Ace of Swords. Oh yeah, definitely. Whatever this, something's happening here, I feel that is helping this connection or love in general go in a new direction. One that's based on truth and clarity. Someone knows exactly where they're headed here. There's knowledge here. There's clarity. There's illumination. Especially with judgment, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone knows. It's like there's two paths they could go or then, you know, there's two paths to choose from. And I feel like they already know or they're headed in a distinctive path. Okay, so let's see what this Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Swords is all about. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. Why is the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords here? Wow, Nine of Cups. So whatever this is, whatever message, truth, information is coming in here, someone's going to be very happy with this news. This could be in the form of a text, a DM, an actual phone call. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. It's almost like someone is very lucky or feels very lucky. And this could be you or, or the person you're dealing with because this is just the overall like what's happening in love. So it could be from your perspective or their perspective. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? with the Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands, interesting, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like someone's getting what they want. <laughs> That's kind of the energy. Wow, and then my phone, not my phone, but my iMac. That was my iMac that did that little ding in the background. Can I get one more for the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords? I think this is very significant. Can you tell us more, Spirit, about the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords? Three of Pentacles. This could be related to like building something, working together, collaborating. There's a page of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's going to be talking to you or there's going to be some sort of conversation that when it's all said and done, it makes you very happy. It sets things in motion so that you can begin again, work together, collaborate, build something new. I feel like whatever this is, it's something that you want, Sagittarius, or they want, or maybe you both want. 
But this is like really good energy, especially Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups together. That's like getting your wish granted in the right time as if by magic, you know? So then why the Page of Cups reverse and the Four of Cups? I feel like there was this appointment here. Dissatisfaction. Someone was not satisfied, was not happy. Let me see if I can move this over on this side instead. Yeah, you can see that better. Okay, tell me about the Page of Cups reverse and the Four of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups reverse and the Four of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles shows up again. Strength, Leo energy. Interesting, I got an interesting message there. Can I get one more? I just want to make sure that this is right. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and strength. Can I get one more please for the Queen of Pentacles and strength? Four of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, yeah. So what I was getting here with the page, the not the page, the Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card together, I was getting someone that was not giving in to what they desire. So for example, uh, that was said terribly. <laughs> I really wish I would not be in like a chill cold right now by Mercury retrograde, to be honest, because it makes everything so much harder. Queen of Pentacles and Strength. So I was thinking of someone that d does not want to lower their standards. They, they refuse to lower their standards. If they don't get what they want or desire or what they feel they deserve, then they're not going to give in to anything. I feel like there's, yeah, it's almost like a stubborn energy. I'm not getting, I, I don't know. It's almost like, um, and this could be that you've been dealing with people that are stubborn, or this could be um, you being stubborn about what you're going to accept, what you're not going to accept, what you're looking for, et cetera, et cetera. Because I feel like when it comes to love or relationships, there's just been disappointment for the Sagittarius that I'm reading for today. And I think this disappointment has kind of led you to just not be interested in love, or at least, you know, you're like emotionally checked out. But I'm getting stubborn energy. Can I get one more for this Four of Pentacles? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Ace of Cups. I feel like this is what you want. The lovers, Ace of Cups, this could be holding on to an idea of what love is, what partner you're looking for. Because this Four of Pentacles to me is like someone that's holding on to something and is not letting it go. I really hope that this isn't you not being interested in anyone else because you're already interested in one specific person. It, that could be, but I hope that's not the case because, I don't know, in my experience, that doesn't really end well. I feel like someone always gets hurt when they do that. But if, if that's not the case, I feel like this is someone holding on to the type of love. It's almost like they are, this is the type of love they want and nothing else. Let's see. Let's jump into how you feel about each other. Let's get some insight into your energies. Spray, can we get some insight into the energies between Sagittarius and this other person? Okay. Tell me about the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection spirit. What energy is Sagittarius bringing to this connection? Pure seduction and inner voice. Yeah, there's something you want. I'm almost getting like pure seduction is almost... And also this could be that um, your intuition is trying to alert you to something that may be...
is it, it's almost like this pure seduction is not good enough because I'm thinking of more of a physical connection than in than a satisfying connection in other ways so like more physical than commitment that kind of thing but I'm also getting like What's at the bottom? Secret admirers. Oh, so this could be like a hidden situation. Intrigue, watchful attraction, and then intuition, guidance, answers. Okay, I'm thinking of this was inspired by the high priestess, the inner voice card. So, hmm. So you could be interested in someone secretly here drawn to someone or they're drawn to you secretly let's see what can you tell me about this other person that Sagittarius is or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this other person that Sagittarius is dealing with Ooh. which one's that one taking action so they're time to make a move. So they're thinking about taking action in some way and then reach out is at the bottom of the deck. So that could be this Knight of Swords. So this is the person that could be reaching out to you, Sagittarius. They could be the ones that bring this message to you that makes you very happy. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? Tell me more about Sagittarius and the energy. Tell me more about Sagittarius. Bad health. This is kind of like the Ten of Wands. So this could be experiencing some sort of, I don't know, I, I feel like that's similar to the Page of Cups reverse. Disappointment, heartbreak, baggage, difficulties that you've kind of carried with you. not feeling great tell me about the person that Sagittarius could be dealing with here what do we need to know about this person that Sagittarius could be dealing with here false person they're hiding this person's hiding something interesting okay so I I don't know if this is someone that's hiding how they feel wearing a mask in this connection presenting themselves as something that they're not um, or if this is just secrets, right? Like a secret of energy. But I feel like if there is like a secret admirer, let's see this. I don't know. Why do you have bad health? What the heck is going on here? Because I want to say that this could be a secret admirer, right? But then why are you feeling so bad about it? You know, unless this person has treated you badly in the past and you secretly still have an attachment to them. And it, you just aren't feeling so great about it because they've hurt you. Let's see what's going on here. Can I get some insight, please? For Sagittarius. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Moon. Pisces energy. Yeah, there's something here that it's almost like you don't know, so you're stuck. There's something that you're not aware of, or you're confused about, and you're stuck. Maybe you're thinking of a way out of this energy, like maybe you just want to get clarity about something. Maybe you're trying to keep yourself busy. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? Eight of Wands. Can I get one more for the Three of Cups reverse? Yeah, there's something here with either communication or movement that's a problem. Can I get one more for this Three of Cups reverse? Four of Wands, Six of Cups shows up again. Queen 
of swords after that. Okay, Sagittarius. I feel like this is going to be like a super complex reading and it doesn't help that I can't get my words out or even like talk coherently. So bear with me. Every time that I want to say this is it or this is what I see, I feel like I'm being corrected. The Four of Wands is typically a, a, a card about your house, your home, your home life, domestic bliss, peace, harmony in a home. It could also be a card about like a rite of passage, something that you're celebrating. And then I have the Eight of Wands, which is a card about communication or action, swift communication or action. I feel like whatever is happening here with the Eight of Wands is tied to someone's like home life. And it could be that there's a third party interference with the Three of Cups reverse, or it could be that there's something here that hasn't been able to move forward. Like maybe the third party interference is that there is no movement, no communication. I do have the hangman here, and that could be causing difficulties in a home, in a home life, in, in a connection. Why is the Four of Wands here? I think you're confused about what's not happening. It's like, why is such and such not happening? Why is the Four of Wands here? Yeah, the Fool. Being free, taking risks, a new beginning. It's almost like this isn't, you don't have this, but this is where you want to head towards. A new beginning that gives you this Four of Wands. And maybe you've been working on it on your own. Maybe you've been hanging around, trying to be patient, but it's just not happening. If it's a reunion, it's not happening. If it's just, you know, having a new beginning in love, that hasn't happened. And I feel like you're kind of wondering why. That's what I see so far, but then how does that fit with the rest of this reading? Let's look at your person. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Why is the Five of Swords reverse? The Hermit, yeah. Five of Swords. This person could have um, ghosted you or they could have, um, after they treated you badly, they kind of ran away. Cut off communication, retreated, etc. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. They want to overcome this though. Ten of Swords. So there could have been an ending between you and this person and they still care, have feelings for you. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Yeah, the world. Death at the bottom of the deck. It's almost Scorpio energy. It's almost like whatever ended, they want to start over. They want to start again. And maybe you're waiting for this new beginning with this person, but not, they're not doing anything about it. So you're probably wondering what's going on unless you want to be free of this person altogether. Whoa. Okay, hold on. I feel like this person presented themselves as someone that they're not. And something happened because of that. But I think you're still kind of stuck here though. I think that's why this energy of the chariot and the ace of swords is so important because it's almost like there's clarity now about what direction you want to go in or what direction you want something to go in because at least here you're moving towards something i don't see you really moving anywhere i mean your person has taking action but i don't see that in their energy so it's really strange i feel like i'm getting like opposing messages the only thing that i see so far that kind of makes a lot of sense is this energy up here. Everything kind of works together here. A message that comes in that makes you very happy is exactly what you wanted to hear. Okay, so what do you need to know? Five of Wands reverse, Queen of Coin reverse. Why is the Five of Wands reverse and the Queen of Coin reverse? Ten of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Wands. I'm telling you, 
It's a similar energy here. Why is the Five of Wands reversed with the Queen of Coin reversed? Well, the Queen of Coin reversed for me as a reader is someone that can't give. They take, but they can't give. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Hmm. Can I get one more for this Five of Wands reverse and Queen of Pentacles reverse? Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you've been waiting a long time for something. And if it's regarding this person, you're waiting a long time because they're not doing the right thing. No matter what that is. If you're waiting for them to take action, they're they're not really doing that, or they're or the action they are taking is not helping things improve or any or get better or move in a certain direction. I feel like this person wants to come back out of this hermit energy. And that's where all of this is headed. Tell me about the hermit reverse with the six of cups. Why is the Hermit reverse with the Six of Cups? Page of Wands. Why is the Hermit reverse with the Six of Cups? Queen of Cups. Can I get one more? Hermit reverse with the Six of Cups. Two of Wands. What's this? The Emperor Aries energy. And then we have the Four of Swords. See what I'm saying? It's like back and forth energy. The Emperor doesn't really do this, Four of Swords. They're more of like a doer, decisive person. They know exactly what they want, how to get it. Um, very brave, um, go-getters. That's the Emperor. They like things done a certain way though. Um, and then the Two of Wands is here. So it kind of reminds me of like what we were talking about earlier where there's like two paths to choose. So this could be somebody that comes in to you after some time or comes in to make an offer to you after some time. And I feel like it's going to be some sort of quick conversation or communication like a DM or a text. I think you're going to be left to make a choice once that happens. Tell me about this two of wands. However, I think this is complicated by your history with this person. Tell me about the two of wands. Yeah, eight of swords. You're not gonna know what to do. There's judgment at the bottom of the deck. You're not gonna know what to do because you're stuck. Okay, so this could be interpreted in so many different ways, Sagittarius. This could be, okay, like for example, you could have had history with a particular person that somehow you haven't been able to let go. So you can't really have new love or old love. You're stuck. That's one scenario. However, you're thinking about how to get out of that energy. And so that requires some sort of decision, path, direction. Um, another thing is that you could have had history with one particular person. You're still stuck in that history because there is no closure perhaps or no movement, no action. However, you can't completely let go. And so when they come in to you with whatever offer they want to make you, I feel like you're, you're probably not going to be able to trust them in the offer they want to make you. But at the same time, you can't say no to them either. So you're like stuck in the middle, unsure of what to do. I see that as well. Part of you, I think, is struggling with, should I just continue to hope for something to change? Or should I cut my losses and see what else is out there for me. I think at the the underlying theme here is the truth, clarity. I feel like honesty with yourself, honesty about the situation is very important because the, the Ace of Swords is with this judgment card. Judgment here is with this decision. You know, this decision that for some reason you, you can't really see around. You're a bit... Maybe you're fearful and that keeps you kind of stuck. But I think what's going to kind of set all of this in motion is some sort of unexpected message that requires you to make a decision. I feel like when this message comes in, 
whether it's from this person, a new person, I can't really tell. The energy is not very clear there. It's some sort of news that makes you very happy and I feel like makes you take some sort of action with the Queen of Wands, or at least it's something that you want or desire. So it could be that this person reaches out after, you know, this particular person reaches out, someone you already have history with, reaches out to you and tells you that they're sorry, that they want to start over or something like that because their en that energy is here. Um, you know, they, they want to come back in or whatever. And you might be like, wow, that is so vindicated. I feel so vindicated right now. You know, that's exactly what I wanted to hear from this person. But that's just the beginning. After that, you have to make other decisions, right? Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching this reading. I'm sorry it was all over the place. If you did enjoy the reading, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.